Hello guys, what's up? This is Paul here. We're back for some more of the Bane of Isaac Rebirth. I'm happily caffeinated, and today I'm going to be going for a chest victory with my boy Isaac. I still haven't got that, surprisingly, and Isaac is meant to be sort of the, the trademark character of the game, so uh, we'll jump right into it. Bombing Bobby Bombs, sorry, right off the bat, homing bombs. Now, if we could only get like a Dr. Fetus, that would be awesome. But I'm starting to like this homing bombs. I mean, you give me a power or something, and I'm all over it. I don't really use bombs too much as a weapon. More so as just something to blow things up with, so... I will definitely be doing that this run through, as bombs are definitely something that come up quite often. And you can get a lot of them if you know how. So, uh... Yeah, we're going for a bombing run, I guess. I guess that's the title of this video, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe some sort of creative genius will strike me and I'll name it something else. But, uh, putting this video up on Thanksgiving. I personally don't celebrate Thanksgiving because I live in Europe, but I want to extend my, uh, I guess, uh, happiness to all of those who are um, celebrating it. So I hope you guys have a good one and hopefully you're enjoying it and seeing all your family and being thankful for whatever it is that you're thankful for. Um, would be interesting. I'd like to be in the US one year just to see how that is, um, the celebration of it. I've never really done it. So maybe uh, in the future I could be, you know, I could fly to one of my friends and, you know, chill and celebrate Thanksgiving there and see what's up about it. But uh, I don't think we have any holidays that are even as close to Thanksgiving at all, actually, which is strange. I need to, uh, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys, I need to quickly cough, so I'm gonna mute my mic. There we go, there we go, bad YouTuber, a bad YouTuber I know, but... Guys, we're all human, aren't we? We're all human, we need to cough, we need to sneeze, it's coming up to those winter months and everyone's getting sick. It's not good, monster! Oh my god, that homing bomb is sick. Let's go for it again. What? Huh? Do you have to be in a certain vicinity before it does anything, or...? Uh, oh goodness. Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna keep one bomb. I have to keep one. In the back of my mind, guys, is my, uh... <laughs> my dentist visit. I have to go to the dentist yet again on Tuesday. And, uh, I have to get, like, ten fillings in one day. It's gonna be so bad. But, I think the fact... It's gonna be so bad just because I'm painting it out to be so bad. I mean, fillings aren't that bad. That's that is bad though. Mom's underwear is very bad. Um, fillings for me aren't that bad. Like, it's just a needle. I I hate needles, and like the needle isn't even that sore. It's just the anticipation of the needle. I was my my fear is like I close my eyes when I get the needle in my mouth, and I opened it, and then I just saw it right in front of me, and I'm like, oh crap, oh my gosh. Um, so I don't really don't mind. I actually th I actually think. Uh, getting uh the anesthetic is kind of fun because your entire face feels like this must be how punching bag feels in the game like literally it must be how punching bag feels your face is just swollen up you know but uh yeah after you get the needle it isn't really too bad just lots of pressure sensations really isn't it got a free bomb and we get high priestess card not bad but yeah I've, i didn't know how to get so many done um Apparently, this is this is what I was told. Like a lot of the damage was done by drinking soft drinks. Um, I used to be addicted to soft drinks. I used to, like I'm a bit ashamed to say this, but when I was maybe uh, I want to say 12 until I was maybe 18, I used to drink lots and lots of soda. Um, sometimes like two liters a day. The cross, not bad. Uh, the relic, sorry, not the cross. <laughs> I used to drink like two liters of soda a day. Sometimes, like that's extremely bad. So, uh, I don't drink any anymore. I just decided to cut that stuff out of my life. Um, maybe if I might, I'll have, like, you know, a, a Coke and vodka or something if I'm drinking. But I don't often drink. Like, I'm, I'm serious when I say that as well. Oh, crap. Those homing bombs are going to be problematic. Um, I don't often drink. I just find that, for me, like... I'll drink occasionally, you know, birthdays, holidays, but for me, like, I find that when I drink, I tend to go, I tend to just regret it all the time, actually. Um, I can't just drink one beer, you know, it has to be, like, a couple, so I end up getting very drunk and posting a lot of dumb stuff on Twitter and Facebook, 
I know, you're probably just saying, turn off your phone. But drunk me is smart. I, I can't have you drunk me as an entirely different person, to be honest, because I never get on that way. Like, it's not as if I'm overly harsh or mean. I'm just very cocky when I'm drunk. I'm sure everyone else is as well, but yeah, just, I try to stay away from it. I really don't mind drinking too much. Just, um, moderation, I guess. And for me, moderation is probably like, you know, once a month. So, but I am addicted to caffeine. That's once a day type stuff. <laughs> we get Judas's shadow, probably a pretty bad item. If I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys, basically you respawn as Judas when you die with two hearts, I believe. So, yeah, not amazing. We have Curse of the Lost here, which means that we cannot see any of our hearts. So we're just gonna have to play it by ear. What what does that even mean? Play it by ear? Like, okay, I guess play it as it comes, play it as you hear it, but. I mean, we can hear everything, we just can't see some things. So basically it means, take it as it comes, okay? Like, just deal with the present moment, and then- Ow! That present moment wasn't very good. Ah! There we go. So what are you guys getting for Christmas this year? Let me know in the comments. I'm actually very curious because, uh... I'm at an age now where I really don't get anything for Christmas, like... And the only thing I get is whatever my parents give me. Like, I don't ask for things. Um, I think last year was my last year of actually getting away with getting something. Um, but I really don't need anything. Like, I'm... You know, as you grow older, you just find yourself like... Crap, sorry, I was scratching... Ah, hold on, hold on. I was scratching my ear and the... Ah, I was, I'm sorry. I was, I, it sounds like an excuse. I was scratching my ear and the freaking thing hit me. Um, but as you get older, you start finding yourself with a bit more disposable income and... Uh, you know, anything you do want, you've already kind of got, if you've saved up for it. Like, for me, if I want something, I'll just put, you know, my monthly income, I'll take... If you guys want some finance advice, some basic, basic finance advice that I learned was very good, it was uh, in a book called The Richest Man in Babylon, and the, the advice in that book is, for every 10 coins that you earn, you give yourself one coin, and then pay off everything else with the 9 coins, and that's what I do. So any anything I want to buy, I sort of take it out of my one coin. <laughs> or, you know, stockpile of one coins. Um, and that's basically what I do. Uh, so I, I don't need anything this Christmas. You know, all I want to do is see a lot of my family members. Because um, I, I, a lot of my family do live uh, all over the world, really. Um, Christmas is always fun. My... my uh, my dad's side of the family always take Christmas so, like, not super seriously, but they always, like, really enjoy it. And I, <laughs> my dad is the biggest troll ever. A few Christmas stories here, guys. I hope you don't mind. It's not too early for Christmas stories, right? I mean, it is coming into December. Um, oh, my goodness. Ah, hold on, hold on. Let me go to these bomb flies. Ah, I, am I really missing everyone here? Come on. Uh, I'm taking damage. Uh, it's unavoidable. Uh. Um, but yeah, really. Uh, come on, what? What? Someone blew up. There we go. Have I been to the item room? Yep. Um, my dad uh, is a big troll when it comes to Christmas. Like, uh, he'll uh, hide things. So one year, I wanted a. Uh, Basically, it was like a miniature pool table. It wasn't like a full-size replica or anything. Don't get me wrong. It's just a mini pool table that I wanted. And uh, I must have been like 10 at the time. Maybe a little bit younger. And I just wanted this pool table all all year. And, uh, you know, I wrote my list out to Santa. Sent it away and woke up on Christmas morning and there was no pool table there. I was devastated. I was crying. I was like, why did Santa not give me the pool table? Uh! And, uh... You know, basically every Christmas, my, my, my family go to Mass. Um, I was born in a Catholic family, so we went to Mass every Christmas. And uh, I'm not Catholic anymore, but I just, I go to Mass just because I find it interesting. I don't go every week, by the way. I just go, like, Christmas time and, you know, relatives, uh, sort of funerals and stuff. But I just go because I find it interesting, to be honest. I... One of my one of my key points in life that I like is even if I necessarily disagree with something, it doesn't mean that it should stop me from you know exploring it and learning from it and seeing what's up. Because despite all the flaws of Christianity and Catholicism, I think it generally has some.
decent points in it. Now, some may some may disagree that you know there's more bad points than good points. There's still good points in there, and you know that's for me. That's that's up to me to actually find those good points and uh, take them out. So that's just my personal opinion. Like I don't really, I like learning from everything, even if I disagree with some of it. Um, but anyway, we went to we went to the church, and uh, there was me thinking, oh, this Christmas sucks. I hear Christmas. I hear Christmas. And uh, <laughs> I came home from uh, mass, and my my family always have like a Christmas dinner, where the entire family comes down and. You know, uh, there must be like 15 of us in one house, and uh, my dad says to me, uh, go on upstairs to the, the attic and get, because we had an attic, you had to actually get a ladder out and start climbing up, and uh, he asked me to go upstairs to the attic and get some Christmas crackers, because, you know, usually when you're eating your dinner, you get Christmas crackers, and you pull them with your family members, and I go upstairs to the attic, and there's a pool table sitting there. And I just started like crying. I was like, oh, Santa, Santa gave me a pool table, Dad. So I was so happy about that. So my dad, my dad, uh, my dad took the pool table that Santa gave me and uh, he uh, put it in the attic. And I got a pool table. So my dad's a big troll when it comes to Christmas. And it's not just my dad, my dad's family members do this all the time. Like they will constantly hide things just to make it. You know, they love Christmas. They just love like happiness. And as I grow older, I sort of feel like I'm also feeling that as well. You know, Ooh. Uh, mom's knife is definitely getting picked up. Two hearts from mom's knife. How many hearts have I got, man? I really want that sacrificial dagger, but I don't know if I can afford it. I don't think I can. I'm gonna go and try and get some pretty flies. Um, so let's we'll see what we can do there. You know, I would definitely like to uh, explore Christmas from another religious standpoint. Because, uh... That shot speed up, man. Holy holy smokes. Two keys to get in here. Why not? Please don't be a six. It isn't a six. Awesome. Some keys. Some bombs. Definitely will take that spirit heart. Definitely will take these as well. You're probably wondering why. Um, sometimes you can get some drops in the like that. So it's basically like poop. Bomb for a card. Why not? What do you got? The Hierophant. Big, big card. Doing pretty well here. The Relic. Or sorry. The Relic is definitely providing us with some gems. Here we go. There's two down. I will bomb this, because I think I can get a uh, bomb out of it. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the relic coming up big. <laughs> I love that. I love mom's knife, just because it's like a boomerang, you know, it goes in and comes back. Now, this could be a dash room. Oh, I'm not touching it. I don't care. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, no, touch!" No, I'm not giving up a good run, guys. You don't, you don't understand how like how these runs work. Like, you see me post all these good runs on YouTube and think, "Oh, this guy's amazing." I have uh, so many bad runs, like you wouldn't believe it. But the thing about it is that a lot of these, uh, a lot of these runs that you see, for every good run, I have a bad run. It's like what Einstein said, for every reaction, there's an equal and opposite reaction. <laughs> Actually, that probably doesn't even make sense at all, does it? Ah! Almost died. Okay, we'll go in and check out the shop. Because we can. Owned! Get owned! All that money. All that money. The thing I love about uh, wintertime, though, is I love the weather. I know a lot of people are probably like, oh, how, how can you love the weather? It's freezing cold. I'm a very uh, indoor person. Like, most of my life is indoors. I just, it, it's just the way I am. Like, I don't have any problem meeting people. I like meeting people, but just going outside is such a hassle sometimes for me. Like, So the cold weather gives me an excuse to stay inside and play games all day. Say what you will. I enjoy it, you know. 
Let's try and... Boom. What? I missed that? There we go. There is another room, but I want to go in and use Bob's round head. I don't know. I can just do that, can I not? Is, is the hitbox for Gertie, like... I'm gonna just kill it and I. There we go. See, I thought you could actually, uh... I'm a pageant boy, okay. There's another room. I will go down and check it out. I'm wondering if Mom's Knife is one of those items that doesn't go away, ever. You know? You know, uh... Like, when you get the flight ability and you reroll it, it doesn't go away. Because flight is actually a... Sort of a fact rather than an item. But I don't want to risk it, man. I just can't risk it. Tree bones. Bomb. Spirit heart. Things are looking pretty good right now for us, if I'm going to be totally honest. And I'm pretty happy with how this run has went thus far. You're on Kiev's 2. Uh, probably won't get to the boss rush room today, but that's okay. I'm going to be cheeky here and immediately go to the boss room. Immediately. No waiting around, guys. Immediately. It's Necropolis. It's boss time. The Fallen. Should be an interesting one. Oh boy. My own fault. Missed both of those guys with that. Got him. Ceremonial robes, and in here we have a Krampus fight. Did we not just, like... I don't... There we go. That Bob's rotten head chip damage for the win. What? We did get the lump of coal. I'm gonna get a cent. It's not all bad. A lump of coal is actually pretty good. It means that we do more distance from afar with our knife. So I'm pretty happy with it. Anyone comes near me is getting stabbed with his mom's knife. These little guys are tough, but as long as you make sure that you have your knife pointed towards them in game, it's all good. Damn. Ah! Got me. I thought I was doing more damage than that, apparently not. Oh, we get a free heart anyway. The relic is really providing the goods for us here, guys. Oh boy. I'm not getting my release certain time, sadly, and it's really costing me here. So I lost like stupid damage there. Huh. Well, at least we're getting the hearts back. High Priestess again. Mother is watching you guys. Just remember, mother is watching you. Oh gosh. My uh, uncle just got back from New York. He went to New York for Christmas and uh, said it was awesome. Looking at some of the photos he posted on uh, Facebook there. Looks really cool. I would definitely love to go to New York one day. Is that doctor's remote? Mm hmm. Big, big pickup. It's a lot bigger than uh, Bob's Rotten Head, I'll tell you that much. I'm assuming the, the item room is down south. Down south. Alright, there's one down. Aww! Oh, hate those guys. Like, honestly, worst enemy EU. NA. Seriously. Go away. A key? Is that really all you're gonna give me? So the item room is actually up there. <laughs> Bit of a weird place to put an item room, but okay. Okay, I'll take it. Hmm, two keys for six bombs. 
while it is tempting. I don't want it. Man, these bird hearts just keep on coming. I honestly was expecting a 1 KO on that guy, but the game says no. The game says no, you're not getting your 1 KO. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. No, definitely go back to bed. I spent like 12 hours in bed today. You're still alive? And here we have... Okay, battery. Is that deck of cards? It is... Hey, two spirit hearts. I'll take it. I'd rather take the broken remote if I'm gonna be honest. Should I tamp fate with a pill? No, I shouldn't have. Donate. Everything I have is going into the donation. I've taken way too much money from the donation. Did you know if you put 999 cents to the donation and then put another one in that it goes back to one? Yeah, I learned that. I learned that. Where the hell's we all, we all went to the item room? What the heck? I was mostly looking for the shop, I think. But Penny! No thanks. Huh, those... Uh, that bombs for keys is tempting, especially because I have homing bombs. I might do it. It's six bombs. Technically, if a key is worth two bombs, then, you know, I got a pretty good bargain there. And I do have the doctor's remote. Okay. Let's go. Down we go. Necropolis 2 or Depths 2? Necropolis 2, wow. Really? Chariot invincibility. I'll rule with that for now. Yeah. Go away. Oh, I wanna kill. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. I'm uh, okay. I'll have him up there. I probably is a bad play by me, but the fact that the game can still kill you, even though you have a knife pointed towards the enemy, is insane. Still, I like to moan, so don't mind that put you off. Hi, generous. Hmm. Yay, key. Yay, a heart. No, I don't want that. Oh gosh, Dingle. Dingle, go away. Go away, Dingle. I hit you so much. Dingle, I'm sorry, I've never. Ah! Oh, by the way, uh. Oops. Sorry, sorry. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say something, but. I don't think I'll say it anymore. Because I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, boy. That's not a good... Is that a bug? I, I honestly think that's a bug. There's some enemies when you go into the room and you shoot at them. They don't actually take damage for the first, like, second or two. And, uh... I don't know if that's intentional. Man, the relic is really good. You know what? This is, this is annoying as heck. This is really annoying. These ghosts are awful to deal with. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm getting owned by freaking ghosts. Dude, let me whip out my poltergeist and suck all you guys up because honestly, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Bye. Hmm. Huh. Tempting, but there's nothing right now that I can use. If I had like credit card or something, sure, give me that. Broken remote for the win. Might as well check what's out in here. It is... Okay. Nothing great. I'm not going to be honest. I need to check. Those in case there is something good in them. Oh, gosh. Got a guy with, like, the center of gravity inside. Here we are. Okay. 
can we get two bombs? No spirit hearts. Nothing. Game doesn't like me. Ah, <laughs> why? Oh boy. This is asking for death and destruction. This is really tough. I honestly didn't think it would be this tough. But then again, the game took care of most of them for me anyway. So I can't be too sad, right? Ooh, a spirit heart. Alright, here we go, guys. Uh... Can I... Can I just walk up to someone? And do that? I can, okay. Again, I said we were going for chest, didn't I? So we'll do that. I think I can't beat the chest, I just need to be careful. Um, despite having mom's knife, it is a bit risky sometimes. Like, like, see, look at that, that's just stupid. Like, there's no reason for me to take damage there. Like, or here, you know, it's... I'm taking damage due to my stupidness. Stupidity, I guess. Not charging up my shots properly. Like, stuff like that, you really need to be hitting first time, to be honest. Really? Strength. Tough one. Need to make sure you get this. There we go. Sorry for the snuffling, guys. I have a bit of a cold coming on. Oh, boy. This is honestly asking for damage. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I suck. Dude, I hate you. I really do. Like, honestly, if I had any of my worst enemies, you'd be in them. Just because you like to sit and camp a lot. Got four of them in one go. That wasn't really too bad, was it? Now we wait. For these brave souls. Ah! Got extremely lucky not taking damage there. Oh! Are you kidding me? And I do get hit, of course. Of course I get hit. Why wouldn't I get hit? It's the game's logic for me to get hit. It's in the code. If Paru doesn't get hit, make sure he gets hit. That is legitimate code, guys. I went to I went to university for this sort of stuff. That's how a code works. Get away. There we go, and into the left. What do you got? Oh, not you guys. Really? Come on, guys. Talk about most hated enemies, guys. These guys are certainly in contention for it. Got Chub. Sorry, Chub. No spirit heart. No me gusta. I don't like it. Oh boy. Goodness. No spirit heart either. Really? You decided to go under immediately when I freaking... That's annoying, man. That is annoying. Go ahead, get up there. Drop the bomb and go after him. Mom's lipstick? I'm so happy to get mom's lipstick. Gobby's collar or ghost baby? None. How about none? Does that work? None. No, but that works. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Uh, I don't have enough for the shop. No point waiting around. Probably could make my run a little bit better if I did go to the shop here, but of course, guys, you know me. I'm not a shopper. Oh boy, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough, 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 tough. I had to take damage there. Like, Callus is definitely one I want. Oh, 
Probably should be using the broken remote a little bit more if I'm gonna be honest with you. I can now actually walk on this creep because of callus, so I guess that's a positive. Double kill! Ah, oh, fricker! That's not fun. At least we get our heart back. Need you to get some more of those relic. Really do it. Another room cleared. I wonder how many, uh... Excuse me, sorry. I wonder what the actual, uh... Sort of... General rule of thumb is for the relic. Oh boy. Really? Everything in this floor kills in one hit. I don't like that. Or sorry, does one hit of damage? Yeah, this is death for me, really. I need to use this here, otherwise I'm screwed. And I can't even direct that. Oh, come on, game. Cut me some breaks here. I'm just really disappointed in myself. <laughs> how, how, how this commentary has turned all happy and smiles to, like, death and destruction. It's funny, I was actually, I actually thought this was going to be a pretty simple chest run, but now you see, I'm in, like, I'm not doing enough damage. I really should have tried to get more. Spur it hard, there we go. We're getting there. Broken remote, so we can use that. We got mom's mom's hand. Where's the other one? What? Oh, really? You're gonna do it that late? That's a joke. That is an absolute joke. <laughs> this is even more of a joke, honestly. Welcome to the clown show. I'm Pyro. I'm telling you jokes today in the band of Isaac. You wanna know today's joke? This massive freaking hand. It pops down five minutes after everyone else has popped down. Uh, shut up, Paul. Shut up. <sighs> Nobody likes a whinger. Nobody likes a complainer. And I'm complaining, and obviously that's not adequate. But we do have the legendary Judas' shadow, guys, don't forget. Man, we might as well just go at this point, screw it. We have four hearts. Really? That does that much damage? That much damage? Really? Wow. I didn't even think I can do this. Wow, I underestimated this big time. I want to add telekinesis or something. Oh, fricker, I'm dead. At least I got an eternal heart, right? My own fault. My own fault, really. I just overestimated my strength, and that's what happens. Yep, that's what happens when you overestimate your strength, guys. I honestly had Mom's Knife in mind as this, like, automatic win weapon, and it isn't that. It really isn't. So it looks like we're learning lessons the hard way now. Sadly. Unless we get some sort of miracle. The, Chris the true Christmas miracle power coming back on this run. We do have the strength card, of course. Really? Oh my god. I have to pop it. I I can't lose here. I have to get to the fight with Isaac and I have to beat Isaac. Nobody likes you to go away. <laughs> it's funny. It it's it, there's nothing I can do but laugh at this honestly because I have turned the most powerful run in the world into something horrible. Awesome. Thanks, little bank. Dead. Dead.
Okay. Sure. I agree. Huh. I hate uploading field runs. Because I feel like I have to put a standard on myself not to upload field runs. Yeah, screw it. Really? Huh, interesting. Copy. Nine lives. I didn't really take any of the other guppy items though, so I don't want that. Like I I would take it if I had more uh Wow, you're really gonna hit me? Wow, dude, I just got those hearts. You're dead. you I don't care, you're going that you're down first. It sucks. It is Womps. Why not? Give me like full health or the hero font or whatever. Troll bomb, okay, that'll do. Monster 2! Love you, buddy. Not. I hate you, monster, I'm sorry. I lied. Our love isn't real. Really? Okay. I can walk on that, right? I have callus. I think what really screwed me over here, in addition to my awful play, was uh, the fact that I didn't have any orbital items, the fact that I didn't have any sort of protection, you know? Usually, if you get like, uh, usually if you get like uh, some sort of fly, or usually if you get uh, the relic or infamy or something, it really gauge you up here. And I think that is where I went wrong because a lot of my other runs I did have infamy. So it looks like Mom's knife can't carry you at my level of play anyway. Full health, speed up. Maybe I don't know. What do I got? No hearts. Well, screw it. We might as well go. Really? Whoa, I didn't know that happens. Drop bombs. Oh my gosh, really? Really? Wow, I didn't know you were that good. I've never fought an Ezek battle that's been this tough before. I'm gonna respawn as Judas, I think. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. What's my damage at now? Will I get a damage boost? Big damage boost, actually. Oh, come on! That didn't hit me! Sorry, I'm winning. I'm winning. I, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, guys. That's it. Sad, but true. So today I learned that the knife can't carry you on a run. I need to preserve health a lot more. And it was Thanksgiving. So I'm thankful for the relic. Even though he didn't really pay up today. Oh, well, he did pay up. He did. I just sucked today. Okay, so guys, hop, hop, yeah. hopefully you have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to try and put another run up today where I'm going to redeem myself. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.